Health alert tonight about a possible danger involving floating uh, floats in your pool. Those inflatable toys we love so much. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now. And what is the concern with the floaties, Doc? And Glenn, as I have little kids, so I'm really interested in this. So when you buy products, you can often tell they're brand new by the smell that pool toys often have a distinctive odor. So a research team in Germany purchased several items to see if the smells were linked to potentially hazardous substances. Now, odors were extracted from the products and identified using sensory and analytical approaches between 32 and 46 odors were found in each of the samples, with 13 smelling quite intense. Most distinctive thing you notice when you take the floaty out yeah. for the first time. Exactly. Uh, what are the dangers associated with all so of this? So, Curtis, uh, the study identified odor active organic solvents like cyclohexanone, isoforin, and phenol, big names. If cyclophenone or cyclohexanone rather is inhaled, it can be harmful. And isofor isoforin is possibly carcinogenic, can cause cancer, and is known to also cause eye, nose, and throat irritation. Long term exposure can include dizziness fatigue, depression, and phenol is quite toxic and long-term exposure can result in blood and liver effects, anorexia, progressive weight loss, diarrhea, and vertigo. So pretty serious stuff. Really? So we thought it was just the plastic all exactly. along. You think it's the plastic. What are your prescriptions? Absolutely, Linda. So unfortunately, these are, these are toxic substances and found in toys all around the world. So some may have potential hazardous chemicals that could pose a risk to your child. So here's what you can do. Number one, before buying any pool toys, use your nose first, right? It has, if it has a strong offending chemical order or smells like vinyl shower curtain, don't buy it. Number two, toys that, that are safer natural materials like solid wood, organic cotton, wool, or natural rubber. Also avoid soft plastic toys made before 2009. They're more likely to contain phthalates, which are known to cause health issues like liver and kidney damage. And finally, look up toys online at healthystuff.org. They test and rate thousands of children's products for chemicals. You can search the by product name or UPC code. And what sort of pool so, uh, toys were in this study? So real quickly, Curtis, the researchers tested inflatable beach ball, a pair of swimming armbands and bathing suits in the U.S., Americana beach ball, and blue flip-flop water shoes. I have more information on WXYZ.com if you want to know more about it. All right. We rely on those to swim sometimes, Doc. This is important stuff. Just get them out of there. You know, don't keep them there for very long. That's the key. Okay. Thank you. Of course. If you have a health concern or question for the good doctor, you can email him at drdandy at WXYZ.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter. We will get it right to him.